Right, um, so the past couple of days I've been getting quite a couple of questions about how to upload a model once you've bought a package. So that's what I'm going to be showing today. It's easier than having to explain it every time. So uh, we use a program called Unity for this. Uh, make sure you have the right version installed. This is the one that currently works for uploading VRChat avatars. And then just make a new project. Call it whatever. I'm calling it vid right now, but usually I call it um, the name of the avatar. <clears throat> make sure you always make a new project, by the way, for each avatar you want to upload. Because if you put multiple avatars in one, um, one project, the files can clash and it can break the whole project and you'll have issues with the models once you upload it or you won't be able to upload it at all. So always make a new one. Right, so this is what you'll get. Uh, let's pick a package. Pick this one. Um, most uh, creators will add a readme text which has our terms of service and credits and whatever but it also has a, a little explanation of how to set up the the project and how to upload the avatar so you can just follow these steps on importing the, the right files uh, i'm not going to be importing this one today because one it's not necessary and well, i mean i do have it but for the sake of the video, it's just long. <laughs> so, let me see. First one is this. You just drag it and drop it in here. It'll pop up with this. You just press import. And you want to do that with um, all the files mentioned. So I'll be right back. Right, so right now I just uploaded everything that needed to be uploaded, except for the package. Uh, I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that dynamic bones is necessary for everything to move, but this is not. This will never be included in the package you'll get because this is a paid asset from the from the Unity store. So make sure you buy that. I think it's only like ten euros or something. So um. Make sure you have that imported. And right now I'm going to import the package itself. And um, some people already walk into issues at this point. Uh, it probably won't happen with, with most packages you buy. Um, considering that creators have to set this up right, uh, export their package the right way once they do it, but it could be that uh, for some reason one of these things will show a yellow um, triangle, uh, which would very likely be something like uh, VRC SDK or I don't know how, but for some reason dynamic bones. Um, you want to uncheck that because if it's already imported in your project and you're going to import it again, 
then that's what will break the whole project and you won't be able to upload your your model so make sure that everything's just a new or it's just doesn't have anything if it's if it's a yellow triangle then you want to uncheck it and just press import Right, so um, this does pop up with one of my models I made. Uh, you can just press fix now because it has something to do with the textures. Um, you, you probably won't get that pop up though. But anyways, um, what we're going to do now is you find the avatar folder. Just double click it and you want to find something that looks like this. Usually it is called click me. So you just want to double click that. And that's... Where you see your model. Um, if you don't have this icon somewhere, you want to look for the prefab, which is this, not the one with the arrow, but this one. And you just want to drag it into your hierarchy, and then it'll just do this exact same thing. Um, if you cannot find it, you can always use this search option, and then it'll sort out. All the prefabs um, let me go back right so we have the model in our scene right now uh, if we click it you can see all the dynamic bones and colliders work and these are all her her toggles now uh, if you want to edit this um, uh, you just have to click whatever you want to edit and then you can find the material. You can drop it down. And with this version of Piomi, you have to unlock a shader in able to edit this. And then you can just edit it however you want. Um, I advise you to edit the materials that are already on the model instead of making a new material. Some people do that if you go into the materials folder. Here you see all of them. Some people make a new material and then drag it on there. For example, you, you can drag it on there. Um, but like I said, I advise to change the already existing ones because sometimes what people do is they will have a specific toggle or something set up in a way that um, will break if you change the material. So for that sake, just change it in the settings. Um, but basically, you're ready to upload your avatar right now. You can just go to... The VR chat SDK show control panel. And you'll get this. Um, I'm just going to log in real quick. All right, I got my keyboard in the wrong language. <laughs> Right, so I'm logged in right now, and then you want to go to the builder settings. Um, this just gives you information about the, the model, and like how many polygons it has, the dynamic bones and all that stuff, and your overall performance. Um, you just want to click build and publish for Windows. And because I have some materials uh, unlocked you just want to press OK so it'll lock it again
Right, so now you can fill out what the what it's going to be called. Um, you can give a little description. Uh, you can put it to private or public. Um, like all bot models, you have to pay for it. You have to have it private. That's part of the terms of service. If you put it on public, that's a no-go. So just put it on private. Um, if it has anything not safe for work, you can check that as well. And then you want to check this and you can press upload. If you want to change this image, you can just go back into the scene. You'll see this um, this camera and this is what you know, you'll know you see in VRChat when you select the avatar and want to wear it. You can just go back to game and press upload and then your model will be uploaded. Um, if this whole thing doesn't work for some reason, if you want to upload your model but it'll give you an error about a blueprint, that is very likely because um, this, this thing right here has information in it. You just want to detach that and then you should be able to, to just upload your avatar. So. I hope this explained it well enough for everyone to understand and uh, I will add a link down below for um, once I've uploaded a tutorial on how to upload it for quests as well. And if anyone needs a tutorial on anything feel free to leave it down below and we'll see if I have time. But yeah, I hope this helped.